For 17 years, we've been testing the cars, doing the numbers to create Australia's most robust and respected awards by our members. And so today, we want to welcome you to Australia's Best Cars 2016. Australians have fallen in love with sports utility vehicles. SUVs are now selling one for one with conventional passenger vehicle and it's possible in 2017 they'll become Australia's largest single segment. There's a huge range of SUVs from small two-wheel drives through to mid-sized all-wheel drives all the way up to the traditional go-anywhere off-roaders. A size and a capability for all requirements. Around town, small cars are also highly popular. Today's small car is larger in dimensions than your typical family car of only a generation or two ago. Beneath the small car is the light car category, and beneath that again are those called micros. Even they are fitted with safety and comfort features once regarded as luxury items. Once upon a time, Australians needed a big car for a big country. These days, the line between medium and large cars is blurred and the choice is often not what size you want, but what balance of power and economy you seek. The result is sometimes perfect. One reason why Australia's Best Cars, Judge's Choice, came from this category. And then of course, there's the new breed of family wagons that provide large car features with contemporary packaging. Every car on our roads gives its owner a thrill, and this is especially true for sports cars. They're not expensive, cramped or uncomfortable. What they are is refined and responsive. Sharper than your average car and capable of putting a smile on your face even when you're driving around town. The surprise of Australia's best cars was the 4x4 double cab ute category. In 2016, Australia's biggest selling car wasn't a car, but a ute. And for good reason. Think of them as sophisticated SUVs with a tray back. So for many people, the perfect combination of work, play and family transportation. After so many years as workhorses, they now redefine how we think about our motoring needs.